Well, now we have established that Islam is the truth, there is a need to accept it. Because we don't have a, a blind faith, right? And the Quran is saying that it speaks about how the sun orbits, has an orbit. Yes, scientists didn't believe this only until recently. They believed that the sun was static. Yes, and now the Quran is saying that the sun actually uh, has an orbit. The sun actually the galaxy. galaxy. Yes, excellent. How does the seventh century desert Arab that could not read and could not write or know this? Yeah, that's, that's like, like back then you shouldn't be able to know these things. Precisely right. He categorically cannot know this, yeah. right? He cannot know about because uh, the Quran is talking about natural ph a phenomena, right? You know, uh, um, um, at a time where they did not know this. And he's accurately talking about a natural phenomenon, right? Therefore, we can rationally conclude based, based upon proof, right? Deduction, yes, that the Quran is divine. Oh, would you agree? Yeah. So, this is the truth, yeah. truth, yes. Because now, now, because, because, it, because truth. It comes with proof. We don't have blind faith as Muslims. We don't just say, you know, just, just become Muslim. You know, just uh, you know, you know, you know, Christians shout, they shout at you, Jesus loves you. We don't do that. We give you, we give you proofs why the Quran is divine, right? And the concept of, of the Creator makes sense internally and rationally. It's only one Creator, not man, not woman. It cannot be visualized, cannot be drawn. Yes, right? is only worthy of worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not man, not woman. There's nothing worthy of your worship except Allah alone. You don't go to a priest, a pastor, right? You don't have to confess your sins to a man in a book. You have to believe that someone died for your sins. That if you sin, you turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He forgives your sin. Yes. There's no intermediate. Right, you pure. Yes, the Creator alone. Right, and He's only worthy of your worship. Uh, Subhanahu wa taala. Yes. Now, uh, the concept of God makes sense. Uh, the Quran. We have reasons uh, as we discuss why it's, uh, why it's divine has some certain knowledge that was not known at that time. Right. Fairly, the Quran has been preserved in the original language. People have memorized the Quran cover to cover by heart. Yes, right. So now the Quran has been preserved. Right, to go to China, Asia, you know, uh, England. In the original language. In the original language, right. Therefore, this is a book that you can believe in, right. So, would you agree based upon what we've, what we've spoken about that Islam is the truth? I mean, I'd probably like to read into a bit more, but obviously, I saw sort of, yeah, yeah. So, uh, if it makes sense to you, we're saying that rationally. Uh, oh, so what's your name? Richard. Richard, if this makes sense to you, right, all you have to do to accept Islam, and this has to come from you, yeah. right? Because today we have. Provide you with proofs. We don't have to say, you know, bro, just believe, man. Blind faith. We have reasons why the Quran is one. We have reasons why we believe in the Quran. Yes, as we have discussed. All you have to say, but to, to become Muslim, is that you say, I bear witness. Yeah, no, yeah. Yes, because it seems to me that you've done your research a little bit as well. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got friends who's Muslim. Yeah. I know. I, I'm not that deep into the faith. Anymore. I, I, I do my research. Uh, does it make sense to you, Islam? Yeah. 
Yes. I mean, I, I'd have to look it into a bit more. Or like, really. You know, to think about it, because how can how can the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how can a seventh century desert Arab have this uh, sort of knowledge? Yeah, of course. You know, it's 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 impossible for him to know this, right? Uh, for example, uh, you know, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said that that uh, that there will come a time in the future where where homosexuality would increase. Yes, and uh, there will be diseases that your forefathers have not heard of. Yes. Right. How can you know this? We're saying that we, if it makes sense to you, uh, Richard, right? Then, uh, because we don't believe that you, or you're here by chance. We don't believe in this chance and you know you're random. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has has brought you here today, right? So this has to come from you though, because if there are signs all around you, right? Allah has shown you his signs in the day and the night, right? within yourself, right? and in uh, many ways, but then he will guide you. Now, now, uh, now he is guiding you, you've been thinking about Islam becoming Muslim, yes, it seems to me, yes, you've been thinking about it, now you have got to a point where it's is making sense to you and it's undeniable now. You have the proofs and you know, why it's divine and stuff like this, why the Quran cannot be from human. Now, Richard, this has to come from you that you would, because he would guide you to a certain point, but then you have to accept it yourself. Yes? So for me, I have to invite you, right? Uh, so then, Richard, what I'll say to you is that. Or do you want to say the words? What the, uh, what the name is. Shahada, right? I right hear. Right, take it step by step. First, you affirm that there's nothing worthy of your worship except Allah, yeah. right? And then the Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger. You say this in the English. He said this in the uh, in the Arabic language, yes. And then you would step into the fold of Islam. And this is a safety net. If something happens to you, then you're going to paradise. Right? Because, because you said the words. Right? But now the truth has come to you, then now you, there is a need to accept it, man. Yeah. Oh, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. But this has to come from you. Because death can come to us at any moment. Yes. Right? We can die t I can die tonight. Okay? I don't know. Right now, if now we've now we have established that Islam is the truth, there is a need to accept it because now you have now Allah has a right over you that you worship Him, that you sing out your worship to Him, uh, you thank Him and you follow His Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right? If you do this, then you would you would enter paradise, right? That's why I'm trying to just like, like, like give you the foundation, but. But uh, once you become Muslim, you don't have to do everything at the same time, whatever, right? You're not perfect. No one's perfect. Yeah. First, you just learn how to pray, step by step. And you see your life will change. Your, your life will become better. Your, your life will change. You have this happiness and this peace in your life when you worship it. You know, Allah, you pray to Allah, right? So, so, do you want to say the words? Yeah, you know, it's it's about look. If someone is 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 I said to you, I'm gonna give you a billion pounds. You say, you know what? Next week, you say, give it to give it to that to me now, right? It's a billion pounds. Uh, like, I can do a lot. I mean, it's just honestly, yeah. Uh, it's like I would I would say say it now, but it's like I'd have to. Right, right. Because it's, it, it, would be, it, it wouldn't be mean unless like meaningful. I just like, said it just because you're telling me now. It has to come from you, remember, it has to come from you. So I'd have to like, I don't think I can honestly now just say it. Yeah, no problem, and that's, look, this is entirely up to you Richard, right? This is yeah. your choice. Maybe, maybe another time. Yeah. Like,
يتدبرون القرآن أم على قلوب أقفالها